Thanks, Alex. We're standing outside of Hop Dotties, a local hamburger restaurant located in South Austin. Now, this is just one of the many restaurants in town choosing organic and locally produced ingredients over GMO and conventionally farmed foods. However, Hop Dotties has taken this trend one step further. They're also removing the fluoride as well as other toxins from the drinking water that they serve their customers. You'd be surprised that it's a small percentage that really appreciate it, um, but the ones that, that do understand what fluoride does to you, they are ecstatic. They, they love seeing that. Sodium fluoride is a chemical byproduct of aluminum, phosphate, cement, steel, and nuclear weapons manufacturing. It reduces IQ, impairs memory and learning. It has shown to poison kidney function. It causes bone disease as well as reduced thyroid activity and is a proven cause of cancer. Well, not only is it bad for humans, it's also bad for uh, animals of all kinds as well. I just don't understand why fluoride needs to be in the water to begin with. I do not think it belongs no. in our water supply. I said it's for promoting like tooth health, oral hygiene and stuff like that. It's supposed to be good for your teeth. Anything in the water supply doesn't sound like something that I'd be for. So if I, if I know something's being put into a water supply that doesn't necessarily have to be there, I'd rather it not be there. Back in elementary school, they made you like gargle that stuff and like and like wash your mouth out with it. But I just remember it made me sick every time I had it. So it's like, I don't know if it needs to be in my water. I think it's just awful. I don't think anything should be added to the water supply that doesn't need to be added. And it just, it just sounds scary anything that's being put into a city's water supply without without everybody's consent. So would you like to see all the restaurants turn the corner like you are and remove the fluoride from the drinking water that they serve their customers? Well, I like to, I like to see the city turn the corner and remove all the fluoride and, and, not, and not burden everyone with putting RO systems in their, in their restaurants. I think that'd be the best way to do it. But I, I think that we can get the word out by doing that. And I would, lo would love to see more restaurants do that. Well, you know, a lot of advocates are, are starting to educate people, and more and more people are becoming aware of the dangers of sodium fluoride. In fact, right down the street, Hop Dotties, yeah. have, they've made a conscious decision to remove the sodium fluoride from the drinking water that they serve their customers. Uh, what do you think about that? I think it's great. I actually uh, go over there quite a bit. I appreciate it, yeah. I don't want, if they can filter out anything, the more filtration of the water, the better. I think it's great that they're they're standing by something they, they believe in. It. I'd like it if a lot more businesses started to do that. They actually spent the money to to take it out of their own water supply. I think that's pretty cool. They don't need to spend money to take it out. It just needs to not be there to begin with. I'd like it personally if Austin stopped putting the fluoride in the water altogether. The majority of people we talk to on the street flat out don't approve of sodium fluoride being added to their water, which is why we applaud individual activists and activist groups like the Fluoride Action Network, who stand in the way of fluoridating public water supplies. And thanks to restaurants like Hop Dotties playing a role in the health of their customers and their community. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News. Alex, back to you.